foot, but it's it's just it feels weak in, in here, right? You know, but that just could be just from the what percentage of movement is in the foot, right foot? What percentage wise? According to you, from moving and movement wise. Oh, um, well, I couldn't pull it up by myself. So the fact that I can pull it up at all is so like zero pulling up. Action. Zero pulling up. Action. Yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was like it. That's why I dragged my swung my foot around. So is because Exactly. Scissor game. Also. Exactly. Scissor game. Yeah. So like in, in the snow, one foot would step, and this side would always slide around. There's always this this half circle. And it's because I couldn't pick my foot up, so otherwise I'd trip. So I, yeah, it would just kind of come yeah. to the side. And so that's why it. it uh, but now I can I can walk because I do have some lateral movement. Can you see that? Can you see that? What's that? Can you see what 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 movement is in foot? Oh, sure. You want me to walk? Oh, no, I want to see, oh. I want to, or maybe sit, oh. keep your legs up. And okay. Or, or like, this, is, this is also a for us. Okay. So, yeah. So it doesn't have quite the same, you yeah. know. Yeah. But, but these movements which have come, yeah. which, they, they were I, not there. I, I, I had zero movement there before. And so the fact that I can actually bring it up by, by itself. Actually, you're doing, doing too good, actually. There's a minimalist left, actually. Yeah. To get it and, normal. And I think I can get, I think I can get that over the next couple of months. A couple of days, no months. Oh, okay. no months. A <laughs> couple of days. Well, I think if no I weeks keep, also. If I, if I keep working on it, like I've been using this while I've been in bed and, and pulling on it and just trying to stretch it. And, and so between that and the actual... What improvement do you have in your hands? Um, well, this one, in fact, I was, I was joking with my wife that I should start exercising this one because this one actually feels stronger than this one right now. It's just like it, it uh, like the... I noticed this morning that I was trying to do some um, fine motor skill stuff, like brush my teeth, and, and I was having problems with that. So I was yesterday, just, yesterday you were not having this. Well, well, fine skills. Well, I, I wasn't. I was just stretching it out and doing the, just trying to, to to touch the fingers and just stretch it and so forth, and that made a huge difference this morning. So now, you know, like I, I'm getting some feeling in the back of my hand, and the, you know, and so and I feel like it, like this hand, it just. Feeling it, it feels the same as this one. Um, a little bit deeper in the tissue, it still feels numb, but the, the outside Sensitive sensory have come, have, have come back. So inside the tissue, like inside the tips, it still feels numb compared to this side. Deep pressure is uh, still numb, but yeah. the sensations, the superficial sensations have already come. Exactly. But you have some sensory loss here. Yes, so, so my palm has all come back, and uh, I've got feeling on my, on my the thumb everywhere. Um, and the, it's it's actually got the, the in my palm. It's this, it's it's as sensitive as this side. So, so you feel good? hundred percent. What about your opinion? Did the opening and stem cell help? For sure. There's no question whether it's helping or not. So let's see. I mean, that, that spasm is totally one of the most important. The troublesome spasms. Yes. Just they so significant. Actually, we've had significant spasms. They were the one. The, the spasms were. Uh, were so extreme at first that, uh, like, I mean, I'd, I'd go home at the end of the day, and my the legs would just, it would just involuntary, just, just, you know, and it was exhausting. It would keep me up at night, keep my wife up at night, and so, um, yeah. Now they're gone, so now I don't. No spasm. Now. No spasm. Better energy. Like I'm, I'm up at 4:30. Like I've been up at 4:30 every morning, and going all strong all day, and and you know, I mean, you know, and I've got. I feel like a teenager again because I've got like I'm like five or six hours of sleep and I'm ready to rock. So I'm just uh, so yeah. So it's. And he, he used to have to nap every day. I used to, at three o'clock. I always had to take a nap. That was just my thing. <laughs> so before the treatment started, actually, when you, before you came from, actually when you came from Canada and I saw you from that condition to today's condition, if I compare the energy wise, how many hours that time or how, how many hours you could stretch and work and as compared to now. As compared, now and as compared to the early, how much energy wise you are different? Well, fatigue factor was, was a very big concern. Fatigue was a huge factor for me because um, I, I would I would sleep my eight hours. I would get up. Sometimes I'd have to go back to sleep at ten o'clock, and then I'd end up taking a nap. You know, and I'd work out at one o'clock uh, with my trainer, and then I would go back to sleep at three o'clock, and then you know, and so that was kind of my day. I would just kind of sleep throughout the day, kind of spend two or three hours doing work or whatever, and then I would take a nap. And Do now? Yeah. And now I, I, I probably go all day without sleep. <laughs> so not so, sleeping much? No, I'm, I'm getting, like literally, I'm only getting like 
four or five hours of sleep and I'm going strong. So. Okay, like if, if it doesn't get any better than this, I'll be happy with this for forever. Oh, so and, and so, so and anything beyond this is 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 just great. It's, it's, it's just it's just you know because I can walk normal now. I you know and can you show me how you walk? Sure. Because you were actually moving like this. Yes. Yeah. Be before I used to I used to kind of have to swing my leg out kind of like this in order to kind of get it around, right? That's how I used to have to walk. But and now? Now, now when I when I walk. You're not walking as as normal as anybody. So it's not not quite um, like they were saying that I still have a little bit of a limp. But that could be... I think uh, to know that you have a limp actually, I need to really see very carefully before I actually know. So if I can know a new person actually see you, it's very difficult to recognize that you have yeah. a limp. Yeah, they won't even notice. Yeah, so I think that the only reason that it, it, like, it feels a little awkward, but that's probably just because I've been walking like this for seven years. So. You're like, seven years you're walking like this? Exactly. Yeah.